four Toyota Tacoma mods I can't live without. And these are must-have mods, no matter what. everybody and welcome back to Rob Motive. These are four mods that I can't live without and they really are must-haves for me. I think no matter what I do going forward, a different Tacoma, a different truck, whatever it is, these four mods are must-haves that I really can't live without. Now I know some of you are gonna have different opinions and I would ask that you leave a comment and let me know what are the mods that you can't live without? And I'm really more referring to functional mods in this case. Mods that actually have a purpose other than just looking pretty. So let's start off with the first one. A little drama there for you. These, by the way, are all interior mods and in that they're all done on the inside of the truck. As you can see there, the first one, of course, for me, is the grab handle. And these are in no particular order, by the way, so it isn't like this is the number one of the four must-haves. But it is the grab handle because it makes getting in and out of the truck so much easier. But you know, I have kind of a conundrum with this particular mod. You know, I've done many videos about this, showed the install and how horrible it was, so I can't recommend this mod. But in the same breath, I will say you've just got to have it. And the reason I can't recommend it is because it was such a pain to get for a lot of people. I've had a lot of comments on the channel about the troubles People have had getting these with the wrong parts and things that didn't fit, missing stuff. Hopefully that's improved because this is a must-have mod that I can't live without. There's another little dramatization for you guys. I feel like doing a little acting today. Uh, anyway, you can see right there that I was dropping my phone. Hopefully the point of that came through. And it didn't go anywhere. It didn't go flying down in between the seat and the center console and end up somewhere in that cavernous black hole underneath the seat where you couldn't find it. What I'm talking about, if you don't get it yet, of course, are the seat stuffers. You can see these right here. These happen to have been sent to me by a subscriber to the channel a long time ago, actually for a Tundra that I had. I haven't been able to find these since. I think you can have them custom made, but I tried to do that once and ended up getting seat stuffers that were just plain, so that didn't work out. Of course, what these do, as I mentioned, they keep stuff from falling in underneath the seats. You know, nothing worse than driving down the road, going to sit your phone down there, because hopefully you're paying attention to the road and not what you're doing down there. And it falls in between and it's gone. Love having these things. Very simple. There is no work to them. You don't have to do anything other than slip them over your seatbelt holder. And then they're there. Love them. Gotta have them. They keep change, fries. I think that's the biggest thing that I hear on the channel that people drop in between their seats is food particularly french fries. And you know, if you live in an area like I do where it's warm all the time and there are constant flows of bugs, ants, and all kinds of different things, cockroaches, you don't want food sitting in your truck to draw those things in, particularly if you park outside. I've heard a lot of stories of people having rodents that have gotten in and ruined their trucks. You know, you don't want to have anything in the truck that's going to attract those kind of things. So this, I know, it's a simple little thing, but it really does help out. It keeps stuff from falling down there like food. Number three is the phone mount. I love, love this setup. I've turned red for some reason. I, 
I don't know why, camera. But anyway, I love the phone mount set up in this truck. You know, I have tried many different things. I've had the suction cup ones that go on the windshield. Problem with those, while they do work very well, is when the weather changes, they heat up, get cold, whatever, they fall down, and now your truck has slammed your dash or ended up somewhere down in the footwell, and you have to screw around trying to find that. Much like when things fall down if you don't have seat stuffers. But these things are awesome. It's called the Dash Multi-Mount System. I have plenty of videos about it on the channel. I have install videos and then a few review videos, stuff like that, but they work really, really well. And if you're still doing these things, it's a great place to hang your mask. But you notice I have one on each side. For me, obviously, this one is for the driver. I use this one for filming outside of the front of the truck. But of course, you could use this one for a passenger if they have a phone. The only thing is you do have to have a magnet on the back of your phone like that. Or not a magnet, but a plate. This part is actually the magnet. And then, of course, you just throw it up there and it stays. Now, I know a lot of people are going to ask, well, doesn't it ever fall off of there? Like if you're out on a bumpy road, maybe a trail, something like that. I got to say, the magnets that you can get for these are very strong. I have never had it fall off, no matter how hard I've hit a bump, a railroad track, whatever. And I have confidence that it's not going to be any problem off-road either. They're just that stout. Must have for me. Puts the phone up there. You don't have to stick things, you know, in your vents. You've seen probably the ones that slick that somehow grab into your vent here those are horrible i don't like those they block the vent they put wear on the little fins here no good other things that stick to your dash with some kind of an adhesive i don't like these either i will say this unit does screw in in the back so you do have to drill holes there's a panel back there you can see the screws but the thing about this is is if i were to take these off which is very simple to do you would never know it's back there. So no problem with that as far as I'm concerned. Number four, the window tent. Now, I'm outside of the truck in this case because you can see it best here on the outside. But obviously, it keeps the sun and the glare down from inside the truck. Let's take a quick step in here, and I know it's a bit dark in the garage. Um, I'll let you see through this way. Uh, let's take a look. It's kind of difficult to tell, but you can see how it cuts the light even inside the garage. Let's hop in here. We'll close the door. And you can maybe get a good idea looking out through there what it looks like, but you certainly can get a good idea of what it's like inside the truck. Um, definitely cuts it down. I have 20%. One thing with window tent, obviously, you need to make sure, there you go, look at the difference. Wow, really does cut the light, love that. Cuts the glare of the sun, and a side benefit for me anyway, is it does keep it cooler in here. Again, in the environment that I live in where it's very hot, very sunny, anything you can do to keep the heat down inside your truck is fantastic. In the Tacoma, you only have to do the front two windows, because the rears are already done. I tried to match them, and in mine, I'm running 20%. That's as close as uh, I think I could get to matching the fronts and the rears. Honestly, it's probably a little bit darker in the front, but if I went any lighter, it would be lighter in the front. So you do kind of have to trade off. Just be aware, if you do this, and if you go with a 20% tent or something below, Whatever the regulations require in your area, you do risk getting some sort of a removal ticket or a ticket altogether, a fine in other words, because a lot of municipalities determine whether or not and what you can have. A lot of them don't even allow you to have tent. So just keep that in mind if you do it. Anyway, those are the four Toyota Tacoma mods that I can't live without. Again, leave a comment, let me know. What are the mods that you can't live without? Particularly the functional mods. Obviously, I have a lot of other mods on the truck, but most of them are purely aesthetic. Leave a comment, I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra, which I'm getting ready to do an awesome mod on. 
and Rob Motive JT all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.